You know that's not connected to a TV or a PlayStation, right? <laughs> I'm playing my games. <laughs> Moonwalk. <laughs> right. Hey guys, this is Nicole here. That's the Kylie Bear, the Sassmeister, my husband, Kyle, behind the camera. Hi. <laughs> we are coming at you with a brand new video. Five simple tips to stop overeating and lose weight. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But we get a lot of questions about this. How do I stop overeating? My biggest problem is eating at night. I just eat treats and then I go off track. How do I stop this? We struggled with this as well in the very beginning. Let me just tell you that Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each and we've kept it off for over five years now. It took us two years to lose the weight. This is our eighth year in our fitness journey. So we know about overeating. We were big, we were big time late night overeaters. Yes. So these tips are the things that we used to help us stop overeating. And now we don't have any problem with that and we don't have any problem staying on track. So the first tip, drink your water. We started with eight eight ounce glasses. And also if you drink water with meals, water helps you feel more full faster and longer actually so especially if you drink water with meals you will get full faster and then you won't keep eating and sometimes i still don't want to drink water and i'm a baby so mine's right over there nicole's right over there we use bcas and bcas is called branch chain amino acids you can get them online or in any supplement store and they come in a ton of really good flavors when you're hydrated, your body is functioning properly. If you're dehydrated, sometimes your body can send you signals like you're hungry. So you're reaching for food and you're eating and you're eating, but you still feel hungry, which means you might actually be dehydrated. So drinking your water helps with a lot of things. And again, drinking water with meals helps you get full faster, meaning less overeating and there's so many flavors nowadays for bcas like this one is fruit punch but you can literally if you dream it you can get it in any flavor you want and there's also those um those like mio things those flavored water drops that are they come in like a ton of flavors that are sugar free anything like that we added like we use bcas now like kyle said but before we use the flavor drops and it really helps you get your water down being hydrated helps you with weight loss it helps you with overeating and it helps keep you regular like it helps with so much so drinking your water it's number one because it's really important number two no air arrow two <laughs> <laughs> uh number two is eat smaller more frequent meals kyle and i used to eat like one or two giant meals a day. And we found that doing that, we overate way more. The other thing is we felt so hungry that we would, when we would eat those two big meals, they would become humongous meals. And then we would just keep eating and eating because we weren't feeding ourselves throughout the day. Also eating like that, not eating smaller frequent meals, we actually found it damaged our metabolism to do that. Eating smaller, more frequent meals spread throughout the day. One, kept us full and satisfied and not hungry. And two, helped our metabolism be regular. It repaired itself and it regulated. You want to be hungry throughout the day for your next meal, but you don't want to be so hungry that you're reaching for food and eating and eating and eating, which is then defeating the purpose. So smaller, more frequent meals will help you get the right amount of food and not want to keep reaching for more and more food. Yeah, like what we did, we skipped breakfast, skipped lunch, and then we set ourselves up for failure because our dinner would just continue all night. Yes. So now we eat about five to six meals a day 
and we spread them every two to four hours apart. It also helps regulate your blood sugar when you're eating frequently throughout the day. And we have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and two to three snacks, depending on if we're working out or not. And over our years and years of keeping this large amount of weight off, we found that five or six meals is optimal. Yes. <laughs> Moving on to number three, it's related to number two. Don't skip meals. Skipping meals for us meant you're overeating. And actually, before we started losing weight, I used to purposely skip breakfast because then I could use it as an excuse later. So I'd be like, oh, I'm not gonna eat breakfast now or I'll eat a chocolate bar for breakfast because then later I can make up for it. I'll just make up for it at dinner. And then my dinner would be like three or four normal people dinners. And then I would, well, I didn't eat breakfast, so I'll just eat this bag of chips and then this whole tub of ice cream. And then it just kept going and going. I used it as an excuse. And what's popular now for people that have problems with overeating is abs the absolute worst advice you could ever give someone that has problems with overeating. It's eating one meal a day or saving up all their food for one time slot in a day. It's, um, it's, a, it's a disaster for people that already are overeaters. And personally, like to eat, when I skipped meals and then I ate one huge meal, first of all, my body couldn't digest it all. I felt bloated, uncomfortable, and then I'd be hungry the rest of the day because I tried to cram it all in one shot. And your body can't, like Nicole said, you can't use all those nutrients in the one hour that you're allowed to eat for the rest and of the day, your workouts, you getting up in the morning, all that. And then again, your metabolism it's not going to be regulated. You want to be fueling your body throughout the day and skipping breakfast was huge. If I skip that, it threw my whole day off. Yeah. Um, it set me up to overeat at night, which was the, my biggest problem time. And now when I eat breakfast, my whole day is set because I ate breakfast. I'm fueled for several hours. I have energy to do my cardio anything I need to do in that day, go to work, whatever. And then I get to lunch. Now I already ate one meal. I may as well get the rest of my meals in. It just really sets you up for success. Not skipping meals will really help you with your overeating. And it also helps with weight loss, regulates your metabolism and that's what you need. Dudes. It's opti it's optimal actually for us right now. We're trying to yes, stay as lean as possible, but also get into the muscle building phase. And so we have to again eat for fuel and structure the food around our workouts as well. Don't skip meals, the friends. Super important. Number 4. Have single serving snacks prepared and ready to go. This really helped us throughout our whole weight loss journey. Currently we have carrots and yogurt with berries prepped for each of us in single serving containers ready to go. We also have fat free microwave popcorn on our shelf ready to go in individual single sized portions. Having healthy snacks prepped and ready to go means when you're hungry, if you did accidentally skip a meal or if you did more than you planned and you're really hungry, having those snacks means you're not reaching for things that you didn't really want to eat and you're not reaching for a bag of something and eating the whole thing because you're so hungry. Having the container, you eat what's in the container. When it's done, you're done. That's huge in preventing you from overeating. We did it too where we labeled all of our snacks. So if I ate my container, I wasn't reaching for Kyle's because that's his and I don't want to eat other people's food. And if it said Nicole Monday, then I'm not going to eat my Nicole Tuesday because then I won't have a snack for that day. So that really helped with the overeating as well. Always having food, not even snacks, but healthy meals ready to go too that you can pull from the freezer or pull from your fridge and just heat them up real quick. 
we still do that. Like I said, this is our eighth year in our fitness journey. We've been doing it for that long and it really helps us. We've been able to lose 130 pounds, keep it off and put on muscle because we always have stuff prepped. And what did Nicole, you have to ask yourself, what did Nicole Tuesday ever do to you? Exactly. <laughs> Don't eat Nicole Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Number five, find your tough time and prep for it. So, so what I mean by that is figure out the times of day where you find yourself overeating. And it might not even be a time of day, but like a specific time where it's a holiday and you're going to your family gathering and going to family gatherings stresses you out. You have to see the outlaws. Or, yeah. <laughs> or you're going to um, a work meeting or something that stresses you out that causes you to overeat or a specific time. Like a lot of people will say to us, I have a problem that night with overeating. <clears throat> My which, wife. <laughs> Hank. Your dad's being really sassy right now. You need to come and talk to him. Uh-oh. You know when you get the wag of the finger, you're in real deep trouble. <laughs> the sass meister's out in full force. <laughs> Overeating, again, like at night, that was our problem. Having the snacks, as in number four, having snacks prepped for that time really helped. So identify the time of day that is really difficult for you or just like... Or the person. Or the person. And prepare for that by one, having snacks prepped and ready to go that are part of your meal plan, but also that make you excited to eat them. Have an activity or something that you enjoy to distract you. So if you're a late night eater, that's where your overeating problems happen, then have a, a snack that you know, you're okay to have at that time of night, have it in a single portion ready to go so you can just grab it. When it's done, have an activity like, for myself, I learned when I painted my nails, they would be wet and I would need them to dry. I'm not gonna be reaching for food when they're drying because I'm gonna smudge them. So that was something I really enjoyed, painting my nails. It also distracted me and prevented me from overeating. You had a new nail color every night. Yeah, sure did. <laughs> um, other people I know knit to keep their hands busy. You could just be watching TV, but also doing some, you know, crunches or sit-ups or bicep curls or, um, you know, go for a walk or anything that would distract you. Or if you're at a family get-together and you know that that stresses you out, have a plan that will help you get through that. Like, like you're going to drink a lot. <laughs> Have a supportive partner or just know that when you get out of that situation, it might cause you to overeat. So have a plan for when you're done that situation that will help you and prevent you from overeating. <clears throat> we were habitual overeaters at night. So that was like part of our life for our whole lives. Don't punish yourself. Like don't take away all food at night and then make yeah. it a punishment and then sit there and like be angry and stew about it and stare at cookies get a new hobby like we've been saying get a new activity if you got a partner if you don't find something fun if you like video games whatever get into something else to replace to yeah replace and distract that old habit that you had which was eating at night and replace is actually a better word than what i've been using distract you to replace yes to replace the overeating and something fun we did we actually got into playing like video games on ps3 and ps4 that was something we did at night instead of overeating we also replaced the food with a diet pop which was really helpful because we still had something that was really tasty but it wasn't adding calories and it wasn't taking us off our meal plan the other thing our favorite thing to do was we learned um this really quick low calorie low carb cookie recipe. I don't even remember it anymore, but it was really quick and it was a single serving. So you can probably Pinterest something, but we literally, it made two cookies and we would throw them in the oven for a few minutes, cook them. And then we had a nice cookie and a diet pop and we would play our video games. And that was it. Once that was done, we were having fun and we didn't even think about the overeating anymore. So those were the five simple tips to help you stop overeating and lose weight. Now, I'm gonna give you 
three bonuses Whoa. before we end the video. So, first one, fad diets. Anytime that Kyle and I tried a, a fad diet, it would lead us into overeating because fad diets, typically, they're not sustainable. So, we would feel guilty about not being able to, to sustain them. <laughs> and then we would end up, it would backfire and we would overeat. So any of the progress we made on a fad diet would be gone because we would be back into overeating. Yeah, the 10 pounds of water that we lost, we'd put back on 20 pounds of exactly. actual fat. Exactly. The second one goes along with the, the first one, the fad diets is don't take away food groups. Whenever we took away a food group, it would backfire, just like the fad diet. If we took away treats, and that includes treats, if we took away treats, if we took away fat or carbs or fruit or whatever, if we took anything away, it might work for a little while and then it would backfire. And backfire, Nicole means mentally and physically backfire. Yeah. You take away carbs, it gives you a false sense of victory because you're gonna lose 10 pounds of water. It does, it works. The problem is taking away food groups isn't sustainable. Yeah, so it, it, just, it works. Just like fad diets, like you'll lose weight, but you can't keep doing that forever. So don't skip food groups, don't do fad diets. That's what we learned. The third one is don't have a cheat day or a cheat meal if you can't handle it. We get a lot of people commenting like, we don't know how you guys do your cheat day. My cheat day turns into a cheat week and a cheat month and I just go out of control. We don't know how you guys stay on track and get back on track the next day. It took us a long time to work up to being able to have a cheat day. If you are a person who cannot currently keep food in the house without eating it, if you can't have a bag of chips on your shelf or ice cream, then a cheat day, it, you're not ready for a cheat day yet. It was years before we added in even treats or cheat meals, let alone a cheat day. We had for the first, it took us two years to lose the weight. We did not have cheat days or cheat meals that entire time. We waited to lose our whole 130 pounds each before we tried a cheat meal. After we mastered a cheat meal, then we went to a cheat day. So we're talking about two and a half years before we started cheat days. And when we were losing weight, we didn't have cheat meals either. We had portioned treats two to three times a week. And we say portion, like I said, it would be two single serving cookies or something that when we were done eating it, there was nothing left in the house for us to keep going to because we weren't ready to have food in the house yet. If you can open a bag of something that you like and close it and not get into it again until you want to, then you're ready to try a cheat meal or a cheat day. If you can't do that, don't try a cheat day because you will overeat. That's, that's what we learned. So now, you know, we, we actually have an entire shelf of food behind us and we don't touch it unless it's our cheat day because we've worked through everything we needed to work through to be able to do that. So the friends, that's it. These are gonna help you stop overeating and lose weight, okay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this. We wanted to share with you because we care about you guys and we know what it's like to struggle with overeating. So this is coming from our experience. This, these are the tips that helped us and these are the things that we learned. We did all these things. And then when we failed, we learned better things. So we wanted to share them with you in hopes that we could help you be successful too. Don't forget to hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss our fancy videos. Ding. <laughs> um, don't forget to check us out on Instagram. If you would like, we have two complete weight loss guides that are in the description down below. I mean, the link is in the description down below. We also have fight fluid clothes. If you would like to get those, also down there in the description. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe around, okay? All right. And <laughs> Thanks again for your support and for watching. We love you. Have a great week. See you.
See you soon. Peace, dudes. Poets. <laughs> I gotta find that place that you go to down there sometime. It's the fanciest place in the land. <laughs> See you guys. Bye, guys. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bike through it. You can do it.